Hello, this is not your chem tutor, and in this video, I will teach you how to solve volume percent. Volume percent is one of the many expressions of solution concentration. In this video, I included four examples so you can practice answering some questions. Volume percent is also known as percent by volume or percent V over V, depending on the reference you are using. Volume percent of solute is equal to the volume of solute divided by the volume of solution times 100. Now, students usually ask if there is a specific unit of volume to use in the formula. The answer is none. You can use any unit of volume as long as you are consistent. So example, if you use ml for the volume of solute, make sure that the volume of solution is also in ml. If you are using liters for the volume of solute, then also use liters for the volume of solution. Another point to remember, if you watched my other video where I talk about mass percent, I said there, that mass of solution is equal to mass of solute plus mass of solvent. And this is always true for any solution, any type of solution. The question is, is this also true for volume? Is volume of solution always equal to the volume of solute plus volume of solvent? Well, the answer is not always. This is only true for ideal solutions. And what are ideal solutions? You will encounter this in your advanced chemistry classes. But in this video, I just want you to know that volume of solution is not always equal to the volume of solute plus volume of solvent. So it is not safe to assume unless the problem tells you you can assume. Let's proceed right away to example one. What is the volume percent of a 500 ml aqueous solution containing 70 ml ethyl alcohol. So ethyl alcohol is our solute and our solvent is water. When you read this word aqueous, this means the solvent is water. So we will use the formula percent V over V of ethyl alcohol is equal to the volume of solute. So the volume of ethyl alcohol is 70 ml divided by the volume of solution, which is 500 ml times 100. So ml will cancel and 70 divided by 500 times 100 is equal to 14%. So 14% V over V. And this is the answer to the question. What is the concentration of the solute in a solution made by mixing 50 ml of toluene in 100 ml benzene? Assume that the total volume of the solution is the sum of the volumes of the components. So in the problem, we are given two components, toluene and benzene. So how do you know which one is the solute and which one is the solvent? You look at the amount. 50 ml versus 100 ml. In general, or in most cases, the solute is the one present in smaller amount. So toluene is our solute. And on the other hand, Solvent is the one present in larger or greater amount. So benzene is our solvent. So volume percent is equal to the volume of solute 
So that's 50 ml of toluene divided by volume of solution. However, we are not given the volume of solution. But it says on the second sentence, assume that the total volume of solution is the sum of the volumes of the components. So we have two components, 50 ml of toluene plus 100 ml of benzene. So this is equal to 50 ml and the volume of solution is 150 ml times 100. So ml will cancel 50 divided by 150 times 100. This is equal to 33.3% V over V. And this is the answer to the question. Example 3, the label of an alcohol bottle indicates that the concentration of isopropyl alcohol is 40% by volume. How much isopropyl alcohol is in 250 ml bottle? So we will use the formula. Percent by volume is given in the problem, 40%. So 40 is equal to... We are not given the volume of solute. Our solute is isopropyl alcohol. So volume of isopropyl alcohol, I'll just put IA, divided by the volume of solution. So we are given 250 ml. So that's the volume of solution that is in the bottle. 250 ml times 100. So we will solve for the volume of isopropyl alcohol. So how do you do this? Divide both sides by 100. So 100 will cancel on the right side. And on the left side, you have 40 divided by 100. That is 0 0.4. And on the right side, you have volume of isopropyl alcohol divided by 250 ml. Multiply both sides of the equation by 250 ml. So 250 ml will cancel on the right side and what is left on the right side is the volume of isopropyl alcohol. And on the left side, you have 250 ml times 0 0.4, and this is equal to 100 ml. So the answer to this question is 100 ml of isopropyl alcohol. Last example, what volume of a 70% by volume solution of ethyl alcohol contains 0 0.04 liters of ethyl alcohol. So we will still use the formula. We are given the volume percent, which is 70%. So 70 is equal to the volume of solute. Our solute is ethyl alcohol. And the problem says it contains 0 0.040 liters of the solute. divided by the volume of solution, which is not given. Times 100. So to find the volume of solution, again divide both sides by 100. So on the right side, 100 will cancel. And what remains on the right side is 0 0.040 liters divided by the volume of solution. And on the left side, you have 70 divided by 100. That is 0.7. Then multiply both sides 
by the volume of solution. So volume of solution will cancel on the right side. So on the right side, you have 0 0.040 liters. And on the left side, you have volume of solution times 0.7. Divide both sides by 0.7. So 0.7 will cancel on the left side, and what remains on the left side is the volume of solution. And on the right side, you have 0 0.040 divided by 0 0.7. This is equal to 0 0.057, and the unit is liters. So the volume of solution is 0 0.057 liters, and this is the answer to the question.